Uh, the grandchild of a sovereign can claim the title of prince, but not so with Archie. Now, this seems like a bit of a provocative move on the part of Prince Charles. Tell us more about this. I think Prince Charles has probably been clumsy. I mean, he reminds me slightly, Prince Charles, of the, the well-meaning, avuncular <coughs> sort of man in the corner who's a bit out of date and occasionally gaffes and gets things wrong. In his little head, it would be simpler to have fewer princes and princesses. Prince Charles, I think, who, I think, well-intentioned man, he walked Meghan Markle down the aisle, for goodness sake. I think he was ready and keen to welcome her into the family. But he didn't really, he, he failed to recognise the wider implications of having a woman of colour in the contemporary royal family and what that meant for the potential reach, potential diversity, the, the, the voice in the Commonwealth, and he dropped the ball. He should have done the exact opposite, which was, hey, Meghan, I wanted to slim down the monarchy, but instead I'm so going to make your Archie the biggest and best prince on the planet, oh, except he's never going to be king. That's what he should have done. No, I think more and more people have been saying to me that it was it was evident all the, the time that Harry and Meghan didn't want to make it work, and particularly Meghan. So it, it wasn't sort of Charles's fault for not making a welcome. It was that she very much didn't want to make it work. She wanted to go back to California and pursue her her career. With and the her, prince. Yeah, exactly. Richard, William, too worried about leaks to talk to the press, allegedly. Um, surely then this latest issue surrounding a private phone call with the Queen won't help matters. Well, I'm sure they're all very worried about any um, so-called private phone calls or communications with um, Harry and Meghan. We all, you know, we know, know how much has come out about those private conversations. And I think if I was William, I wouldn't want to say anything other than talk about the weather or how are your children or, you know, just small talk, really. I think anything else would have to be face to face in the knowledge that it's likely to be reported by Gail King or you know, Omen Scobie or one of their other cheerleaders. Tessa. But, but when they had the face-to-face -face opportunity after the funeral and they clearly didn't capitalise on it, I think, you know, the greatest problem in all of this is that William, with his perfect wife, Kate, you know, and their perfect three children have all been given these um, royal titles. You know, it's a kind of game set and match, isn't it, for the, for the Cambridges? And what it looked like to Harry and Meghan was, oh, where's the space for us? Where's the space? Actually misunderstanding or not understanding, that is the ruthless machine called monarchy. Dating back to Battle of Hastings and beyond, if you're first born and ideally male, you will get it all, mate. And the rest of you, on your bike and remember to behave. You know, and actually, that's a hard message for a contemporary feminist like our Megan. That's all we have for you on our YouTube show. But to see the rest of this episode, including some more fascinating royal revelations, head to www.mailplus.co.uk forward slash royals or click the link on screen now.